Okay, how to find a good woman. Proverbs 31 and, and verse 20. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. Now, okay, this is a compassionate woman. It's not all about me. You know, here, here's a woman you, that can get her mind off herself for three minutes to serve others. Because you see, here, here's the thing. Compassion, okay. Compassionate, serves others. A great marriage consists of two servants. It really does. It just consists of two servants. Now, I know we probably don't like that word, but that's what you are. I'm a servant. My wife is a servant. In school, you know, they used to teach in school homemaking class. They taught women how to sew, how to cook. That's a novel idea, right? How to cook. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know. Okay, you're dating a girl, can't boil water. All right. Uh, all right. They would teach in the homemaking class. They would, they would, back then, and this has been 30 or 40 years ago since I've been in school, but my wife was reminding me of this, that they would take an egg, a little egg, an egg and carry it around all day long and be careful not to break it. It was teaching the women how to take care of a baby. It was like a little baby egg or whatever. You had to carry it around all day at school and be careful, take care of it, don't break it, teaching you how to take care of a baby. Man. This is some good stuff back then. How to balance a checkbook, let's say. Now, that's probably another class, but that's an important thing. And now, why, why were these things taught back then? Well, because you're going to serve somebody. That's why. That's because a great marriage consists of two servants. I took in class, I took agriculture. And boy, did I, I, I love this stuff. I, I learned how to arc well arc weld. I learned how to use gas, you know, settling oxygen, how to get, w w cut metal, blacksmith shop, how to beat metal into certain shapes, mechanical work, uh, planting crops, uh, gardening, valuable. You know, I, I think in school that they need to teach the basics. They need to teach basic automobile. You know, how to change a flat tire, for pity's sake. How to check your oil. The basics of how the engine works, how to change a fuse, you know, whatever. They should teach that because it's critical information. But why would you teach this? Because you're going to serve somebody. That's why, you know, it's like that song, you're going to have to serve somebody. It was so true. In a great marriage, you serve. You're two servants. All right. <clears throat> how to find a good woman. Proverbs 31 and verse 26. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Now, I like this, the law of kindness. Man, that's such a turn on, you know, kindness. Not harsh, loud, obnoxious. You ever met girls like that? They're just loud and they just, they're like fingernails on a blackboard. You want to run from those people. You're looking for quietness. Yeah, quietness for me, you know, me and my wife, our first date, we didn't say two words, you know, but neither one of us talk a lot. But I tell you, there's a connection there. You know, we can take a trip. We don't talk a lot. We can go on vacation, drive for five or six hours. We won't, we won't talk a lot, but there's a closeness. There's a connection. It's almost spiritual. There's a connection that we have toward one another. Uh, Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.